Let's take a look at a uh, while example. So I do a file new project. And I go into this form application. And I got example while sum. Okay. And um, I'm going to have a label here. And then I'll have a text box. Then I'll have the uh, buttons. Three buttons. And then I want a label for my answer. Okay, I'll do a rectangular select, select all those, select all those. And I'll change all the fonts to um so I expanded that. Uh, change them to 20s. Make it a little easier to see. There we go. Click outside of those. And uh, this will be our answer. I'll put it down here. Um, I want to make it uh, invisible. So I'll go down to the visible property, set it to false. And I also want to give it a name. So I'll go up to the name property, the put LB underscore answer. Okay, I have my buttons here. And then uh, my label up here. Now, label is going to say add all the numbers add all the numbers from 0 to 0 up to Now, um, let me see, Got a maximum size here, got auto size, so that's set for true. Okay, I didn't see it over there. So add up all the numbers from, and then I'll have this text box. So I'll give it a name. And I'll call it TB underscore number. And uh, this, this um, button. <laughs> I'll change it, uh, its text to read uh, by ones. This one I'm going to change to read by twos. See how I want that to be the same width as the other one? I can put it underneath it. So it lines up and then move that to, to the, where they line up. I can line this up on top and then move this so it goes with that. So that, that's a way you can make it... Um, so they're the same size very easily without having a full amount of properties. There's other ways to do it, but that's a quick and dirty. Okay, and this one will be by fives. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm uh, ready to put the programming in now. So by once. I'm going to double click this. I need to bring in that number. So I'm going to have int um, num. I'll say num is equal to int.parse tb number.text. Now I need to declare a variable called sum. I could put it on the same line as the num, or I could put it on its own line since I'm going to set it equal to zero initially. And so then sum is going to equal to zero. Now I'm going to loop. Now, I need to know when to stop looping. And um, that's part of what num's going to give me. So I need a, an index of sorts. So I'm going to come up here and um, 
input index. Now we're going to add up all the numbers from 0 up to the number. So I'll say index is 0, and I'll say while index is less than or equal to num, then sum is equal to sum plus my index. And then I want to write out the answer. So I'll do lb answer.text is equal to sum dot two string. Now this right here is going to be an error. Let's think about what this is doing. And I'm going to run notepad. Size that. There we go. So initially, coming in there, num, let's say I'm going to add up all numbers from uh, 0 to 5. 0 to 3. That's easier to add. Okay, so I know what my answer is going to be. My answer should be I got 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3. It should give me 6. Okay, so let's set num equal to 3 and come down and set uh, sum is equal to 0, index is equal to 0. Then I'm in my while loop. Pass 1. It's checking if index is less than or equal to num, which it is, 0 is less than or equal to 3. So then it's saying sum is equal to sum plus index. Well, um, sum is equal to my old value of sum is 0 plus the index, which is 0, which means that sum is going to equal to 0, so pass 1. Okay, now it goes back and does pass 2, because after the while finishes this line, it then comes up and does this check again. Now it checks to see if num, or while index is less than or equal to num. So it's doing that check again. Well, the index is still 0, and num is still 3. So we did not uh, increase the index. So I need to come here. I need to put my curly brackets. Come down here. Put my closing curly brackets. And I need to put in the middle of those uh, curly brackets. Index is equal to index plus 1. Okay. Now let's think about it. Pass 1. Sum is equal to sum plus index, so sum is equal to 0. Okay. Pass 2. Sum. Index has been increased. Index is now, since I increased it, at the end of that loop is now equal to 1. So sum is going to equal to uh, sum, which the old value is 0, plus index, which is 1. So that's going to give us 1. And then while, pass 3. At this point, we've increased index. Each time to the while loop, we're increasing index by 1. So it's still checking if index is less than or equal to num. Then sum is going to equal be the old sum value, which was 1. That's whatever we set it equal to right here. Plus my current value of index. And index is now 2. So that's going to give us 3 and so on. Well, let's run this and see if it works. See if we have an error. Okay, so I'll put 3 here, so something easy to check. And click that. And it uh, helps actually make my um, label answer visible. So dot visible is equal to true. There we go. Let's run this. Put 3 in here, click by 1s, 6. Doesn't matter what I put in here, if I put 300 in here and click by 1s, it'll add up all the numbers from 0 up to 300. And that's what my answer would be. You pick a very small example to begin with, something you can easily check. Okay, now we're going to steal this code. This code's going to be very similar to what we'll do in the other ones. So I'm going to copy it. After I highlighted it, I right-clicked on it and chose copy. This one's going by twos. I'm going to come here and I'll paste it. So I'll 
right click and choose paste and uh, bring all that in instead of adding by one though we're going to add by two well let's uh, test this so if I run it if I put four in here and I'm going from zero up to that number of imagine by two then it should give me six when I click the by twos it does if I put six in here it should give us is that right two four Six. Yeah, I guess that adds up to 12, doesn't it? Okay. Well, then I'm going to steal this code again. We're going to see in the future chapters how can you reuse code so you don't put in the same code in a dozen places. Uh, or in this case, three. <laughs> so I'm paste it in there. And this will be increasing by fives. So then I run it. If I put in uh, 10, that should give me, what, 15? Yes. And again, that, this isn't limited. I can put uh, 10,000 in here, presumably, if it doesn't exceed the limits of the variable. And we get this. Now I got auto size uh, hopefully selected on that. Let's check. Um, auto size. Uh, based on font size, not the only uh, label. Uh, there's nothing in for label controls. I don't know if that uh, will handle if it gets uh, too big to it'll, it'll appear in the blank. That part I don't know. Um, I'd have to play with it and see. But that shows you an example of using a while loop uh, to add numbers together.